Mr. and Mrs. Koibuchi opened their humble abode for my first homestay. Their home truly gave a relaxing vibe. It was filled with bits and pieces that represent who they are and where they have been. They let me stay in this spacious room. The room had some nice antique pieces, just like this lamp and desk. But the room still has Japanese elements. They decided to give me a tour in places I haven't been in Ibaraki. First stop was Hukuroda Falls in Daingo. We came in for some famous soba. Here's my lovely homestay family. They're a little shy though. They said soba is famous around here, so itadakimasu. Now we're in the tunnel to see Hukuroda Falls. Here is my host family again. Could you believe they're 80 plus years old? But they're still healthy and walking a lot. On the way, you'll find Koibito no Sechi, or in English, Lover Sanctuary. But scratch that, this is the main event. The viewing deck is placed very near the falls, so it's beautiful and overwhelming. The water looks like flowing hair strands. It's so hypnotizing. And on the second floor, you'll find the other half of it. That's how huge this falls is. The bridge going back has a nice view of the stream flowing from the falls. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Koimichi. Here's the stream. It's so relaxing to look at. As usual, some souvenirs outside. I love these little figurines. Now we're at Ryujin Suspension Bridge. It's Japan's third longest suspension bridge at 375 meters. Here's a view from the bridge. Underneath is the Ryujin Dam. I have to say I was nervous walking here. Somewhere in the middle, you'll find this. If you look closely, it's the port for the bungee jump. Yes, they do bungee jumping here. And there goes one person. Fun. In the evening, the families of the couple came. There were lots of food. I have a sweet tooth, so I love the desserts. More food in the morning after. But let's just say there was never a time I was hungry. <laughs> they fed me so well. The last activity we had was calligraphy. This is Mrs. Koibuchi's hobby. She told me that they once raised funds for a charity by selling her calligraphy. She wrote people's names in kanji, which amazed them. They thought of a way to write my name in kanji, using meaningful characters. And here's the result. And here's my amateur attempt. No doubt she's great. It was really fun doing it. I'm so thankful for this experience. I explored, learned, and ate a lot thanks to this wonderful family. Putting it in video helps me treasure it. Again, thank you Mr. and Mrs. Koibuchi. I hope to see them again.